Hey family, hey! It is November 1st, 2017, and I am attempting to do my version of Nonstop November. Now, but however, this is midweek facial, so um, I have come on to um, get my face right. So that's what we're about to do. Um, let me see something. I'm just wondering. Hmm. Let me see something. Does that make it too dark in here? It makes it too dark in here, huh? I don't know. Does it make it too dark in here, y'all? I don't know if y'all can actually see me. Let me see something. Because I'm truly feeling the ambiance, though. Okay, can I say that I'm feeling the ambiance? So, we're going to try to work with it. We're going to try to work with it at least for a little bit because I'm just kind of feeling the ambiance a little bit. And I can still see as long as you guys can see me. Um, and this is just the mode that I'm in right now. And, you know, this is just what it is. Um, so... We are going to, I do want to go back and do another microdermabrasion again. Um, because after I did that mask, girls, let me tell you something. After I did that mask, it seemed like I had a couple of dry, like dry patches. So that's one reason why I hadn't been on. Because I was like, okay, let me, you know, allow this to settle down before I put anything else on my face right now. So now... I'm just going to, um, I'm going to turn uh, the uh, intensity down kind of low. And then I'm going to allow to just kind of slough the top layer a little bit to just kind of get that down up off of me. And then we're going to cleanse and all that. But I think what I'm going to do first, because I do need the tone, so maybe we'll tone first and then we'll do the dermabrasion. Um, because once I cleanse and all that, then therefore you can't, because, see, let me tell you, with the, um, toner, you can't have no oil residue, you know, left on your face and all that. And I don't want to, hold on, let me see, let me cut on this light. Hold on one second, y'all. Got an idea. That might be a little bit better. Is that better? Oh, that might be better. I cut on the, the shower light. So then therefore, that, that might be better. Because I'm still chill. But the only thing that, that um, my shower lights are blue. So I really don't know how it's kind of giving off. But I just didn't want, you know, the... You know, all the lights on the chandelier lights and stuff. I didn't want all of them on. I was kind of, you know, kind of, I'm a little, you know, I'm on some chill shit right now. And all the lights just loud right now. I'm just not feeling it. So, but we're going to, we're going to, we're going to take our time and we're going to do this. Okay. And so, um, today is my son's birthday. So we just going, we just going to roll through. Okay, how about we just gonna roll through? I already got my mindset on how I'm gonna do things, so I'm just gonna do it. How about that? You guys already know what products I'm using, so I don't have to stop and say, okay, well, this is this right here, unless it's something new or different that I haven't used yet. Then I will, you know, talk about it and all that other kind of stuff. But if it's some stuff that y'all don't already seen, guess what? We not getting ready to go through all this. We're not getting ready to do it. So, but um, let me clean my face first. Um, today, y'all, is my son's birthday. At 3.17 in the p.m. on this day, I was 25 years old and I had my son. And so today was my baby's birthday and he called off from work today. So he's home. And so... Um, I also um, made him some um, some lettuce wraps, and so he likes that, and uh, so, uh, yeah, so I made my baby that, and uh, we sat around, me and him, you know, because everybody else was gone, so, you know, we sat around and we talked, and, 
you know, just kind of caught up and everything over the weekend. Him and some of his partners, they all went out and everything. And, you know, their thing of going out is, is you know, posting it up, posting up at each other's house. And, you know, they be chilling at each other's pad like that. So, you know, so they set up and they, you know, done whatever they do. And so that was what's up with him. But today is theoretically his birthday. And when I had my baby, I had a, a choice of the due date um, cause he was running a little late. He didn't want to get out. Okay. So they was like, okay, well, you know, you can pick your due date. Do you want, um, Halloween or do you want the day after? And I was like, nah, I ain't finna do no Halloween. Okay. No, give me the first. So I ended up having my baby at 317. You know what I'm saying? I had him vaginally. I never had a C-section. So, yeah, my stuff just always been able to open up like that hollow. Okay? Yeah. Um. So, uh, anyway, before I get to getting on some other stuff, don't even need to. Okay? It's unnecessary. Okay? Um. So, uh, y'all, listen. Y'all, I'm just so excited. Listen, let me, let me, let me. While I plug this all up. Hold on one second. <laughs> Y'all, I really feel as though I am in, finally, finally, finally ending a cycle in my life. And when I say unto you that it has been rather daunting, it truly has. Um, as I say to you guys all the time... You know, for every chapter and every stage of your life is going to require a different you. And um, you have to, you know, be ready and be prepared and surrender to the process, okay? It ain't going to always be cool. Understand and know that. That it's going to always take you for a loop sometime. There's peaks and valleys. There's ups and downs. And when you're going through... You know, the best thing to do is stay, you know, giving your mind some good brain food to work with. You know, gravitate to some things that are going to keep you balanced, you know. Whether you're going religious or spiritual, whatever your get down is, you might want to confer back to that. You know, to your basis. You know, your foundations. And, um, and start with that to getting... You know, getting balanced and stuff. But y'all, when I tell you, oh my God, it ain't been no joke. It truly ain't been no joke. But, <sighs> hold on. I'm trying to get my little incense lit up over here without burning up some things. Hold up. Oh, shit. Okay. I'm uh, uh, burning Pure House. Um, because this is the one that um, is here in my bathroom. And so that's what we're burning right now. Um, let me get this closer to me so that I can begin doing this. I got so much shit on my countertop, y'all. It's a pity and a shame. What well, my daddy used to say. My daddy used to say it's a pity and a shame. Yeah, it's a pity and a shame. But, um... I'm going to attempt to do this non-stop November. Um, if I don't come on with a full-fledged video, then therefore I'll do some form of an upload, be it a, a you know a already pre-recorded um, cooking video. I've been doing cooking videos, being that I haven't been on regularly. I have been doing video, uh, cooking videos and such. So some days you guys will just get a video, a cooking video or two. Um, Y'all, I've been, you know, I've been rather domesticated. A lot of times, like when I'm going through shit, I have to. Um, not only do I become more uh, cerebral and get more into a, a hermit type of stage, but I. Um, I tend to surround myself with a lot of different stuff. You know, stuff I don't need, some things that I do. Wait a minute, what am I doing wrong? Okay. About to tear up something. And let me tell you, for the past couple of days, y'all, I've been getting at me some um some Reese cups 
oh my God, I've been eating so many Reese's Cups. But then too, I also was on my menses. So that also add on to it. Let me bring this up close. Kisses belong to you. Okay, let me see how close. Now, I do have my vanity mirror right here, um, very close. So, when I kind of um, gear towards this over here is because um, I have a big mirror right here and it's kind of lit up. So, I'm certain you guys can probably see the glare off of my face. So, you know, at any rate. And y'all already familiar with the sound, so don't trip. Okay. But, yeah, y'all. Um, yeah, it, to take off this, because it was, uh, I was having like these little dry patches, you know, and I was like, um, so I said, I know what I'll do. I'll just go back and cleanse it. Take this dead layer off and start back over again. But I'm not going to make it, you know, be too invasive with this um, dermabrasion because I just did one, what, last month? Sometime around my birthday, like, I mean, uh, excuse me, that one I didn't do on screen, I mean on uh, camera, but... The one that I did last month, cause it's so it's been about a month almost, or was that? Yeah, it's, it's been about a month or so. So it's okay. Once a month, uh, for me for dermabrasion is good enough for me, you know. And I'm not gonna go over it like twice because I'm just not going to. Because it's not that bad a shape. But yeah, y'all, so... But let me say that I... Even though... I feel as though I'm ending a cycle... Uh, this cycle, I had to truly tune inside of me... And, you know, feel my feelings. You know, I had to reset some boundaries. I had to realign and readjust, you know, to balance my chakras. And uh, it has truly taken a lot of med meditation, uh, a lot of solitude, a lot of prayer. And I really feel good now that, you know, I feel as though now that it's um, at the end of it now, I feel good. I feel a burst of energy. I truly feel as though something truly is getting ready to really take off really cool in my life. And I am just, let me just say this right now, okay? I am open. Let me say this right now to Trinity. To the Trinity, which is the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, for those of you guys that are unaware, um, to, to and also to the universe as well, let me just go on and say I am open to what is rightfully mine. Don't give me no more than what I deserve. And bless me according to my integrity. That is what I declare and decree. I am already grateful. I am already thankful for the blessings thereof and the blessings that I've already been given. But if there is anything left with my name on it, I'm ready for it. Okay, let me just go and say that. Whatever else it is, I'm ready for it. Okay? So, alright. I did say I was going to tell him first, didn't I? And got this out the way. And then I said I wasn't going to go over this twice. And I'm going over extra spots again. But it's not pulling as much as it was either. Because from time to time you do have to uh, shake. Or kind of, you know, 
kind of move the salt around. Well, it's not salt. It's actually like diamond and, and like, uh, you know, crystals and stuff in there. But it's more, it's, it's salt in there too. Let me just go on and say that too because it tastes salty. Um, but yeah, you got to kind of move it around a little bit um, to allow the suction to continue as it should. Now that I've done that, I'm going to just simply use plain water and well because I just don't want no I don't want no shocking going on. You know what I'm saying? I know one of my girls was like, Why well, you know I re wet mine and girl, I don't know, because that damn thing already be pulling as it is, but but uh, yeah. <sighs> yes, indeed. And it's cool water, too. It's not... I've been oil pulling too regularly now. Um, I've just been really been taking care of myself. You know, when I'm going through uh, these growth spurts, I tend to tune into myself and tend to, you know, take better care of myself. I've been um, taking my supplements. Um, I've been um, eating better and balanced. I've been taking in a lot of water and... I've been doing a lot of uh, my 80-20 um, alkaline. Um, I haven't been getting in the sauna, nor have I been steaming. I haven't been doing that because the weather has been kind of, you know, it's going hot and then it's kind of going cold. It's going hot and it's going cold. Um, but um, I haven't done that. And I said that I was, especially after, since I just came off of my menses. And I was like, okay, cause I, this time I was retaining so much fluid. I was like, okay, I need to... Um, you know, at least steam or something. So, maybe I would. Maybe tomorrow. Yeah, maybe tomorrow. Because today is Wednesday. The um, day after such a tragedy yesterday. That was just so sad. Uh, you know, it's so many people are very unhappy in this world. And it's just, it's so sad. And, and it's a trip how... You know, some people that aren't happy, like misery truly loves company, you know? It's a lot of people who aren't happy and they don't want nobody else happy. Ain't that something? It's a trip, y'all. It's a trip. And, uh, you know, so my heart and my, you know, my prayers and condolences go out to so many families that have had so many losses, you know? It's been a lot of losses. 2017, a lot of people have really, you know, been compromised, whether it's been from weather phenomenons or just from the hands of others, you know. We are truly in trying times, and, you know, we truly have to stay prayed up. We really do, you know. We have to stay prayed up, and I just, you know, man. Oh, you know. My God, Father, you know, it ain't for us to never really truly question, you know, but it's like, wow, you know, so many innocent people that don't have nothing to do with what somebody else is going through, you know, it's just a lot of collateral damage going on, but I'm not going to get on that on my soapbox with that, you know, what's up with Wendy, though? Y'all, did y'all see that yesterday? Oh, my God. And I was watching the show, and uh, but when it happened, I guess here on the West Coast, they kind of blocked it out, though I did have it on mute. So I was watching it, but I was doing, you know, other things. So I was multitasking at the same time. And so I kind of was missing, you know, certain things about what was going on. So... You know, but damn, you know, y'all, y'all don't know what other people are battling, you know. And sometimes, you know, eating a little something can make you feel a little better, you know. And I've been looking at Wendy for a while and it's like, you know, 
I mean, I but I've battled a weight problem all my life too. So I understand what it is, you know, when you still feel like you're extra heavy. When other people see you, they don't see you the way you see you. It's a mindset. You still think that you're heavy. I also know how it can be to lose weight under stressful conditions. And that might be a portion of her issues is the fact that my girl is stressed out. You know, and when I say my girl, I use it lightly with Wendy because it's a love-hate relationship with Wendy. Well, there's never a hate. Let me just go on and say that. Um, there's never a hate because I truly believe in love and light, and that is what I stand firm in. But, you know, it's like, wow, give people a break. You know, every day, you know, she putting down somebody for they, you know, for whatever they get down is, you know, which clearly is... Uh, you know, an indication that her life isn't as grand or she isn't as happy as, you know, she portrays that she is. Because when you are, you tend to allow uh, others to live their lives, you know, live and let live. So, but I understand that's the way in which she made her money. But the way I look at it is allow other people to make theirs the way they make theirs, okay? Okay. You know, I understand that, you know, she don't like reality TV or whatever, you know. But the other day when she came out and said that, you know, you know, she was talking about the Tamar and Vince situation, you know, and that's kind of tragic, tragic too, you know. Ladies, man, I'm going to talk about that in a minute. But, you know, when she was talking about that and then she came out of her mouth with there's no loyalty, you know, and it was like she was, you know, all over every day on what Tamar and Vince Nim got going on. But, you know, she ain't really talking too much about, you know, what's going on in the compounds of her marriage. You feel me? You know, and so, uh, you know, and she's been in the news a great deal, you know, in reference to what her husband got going on. You know, so, man, I done been there and done that, you know. I'm just so thankful and so grateful that even though I have, you know, witnessed and seen and done and, you know, man, my 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 uh, path has been cold-blooded. But, but what's so cold about it, though, I'm patient with the process, you know. I'm not trying to hurry up and rush nothing. I ain't trying to do none of that old type of shit. I'm really wanting to allow the energy to have its way. You know, and as long as I, the way I feel about it, as long as I do good and be honest and stand firm in my truth, then therefore, and, and stand with, you know, and, and keep it on integrity based, then therefore, how can I really go wrong? You know, I'm not lying to nobody. I'm not trying to mistreat nobody. You know, I'm taking care of my kids, assuming my place as a mother. You know, I'm taking care of my responsibilities. You know, and so what else can you ask for? What else am I supposed to be doing, you know? And, uh, man, you know, I thank God for my path, y'all. I'm having fun with it. But see, the thing is, you have to be able to surrender to change. And you have to know that what goes up comes down. You got to also understand that, you know, everything ain't going to be the bomb. You know what I'm saying? You're going to go through peaks and valleys, you know. And uh, But if you look at, like I've always said, you know, it's nothing more than a pebble in my path of progress. That's the way in which I have to look at things. Okay, there's something to learn from this, you know. And that's the way I always look at it. <laughs> You know, and when things always get the best of me, as like for the past few weeks as I've been ending this cycle, you know, it's like, wow, you know, I've had to ask myself, you know, so many, you know, questions, you know, I had to, you know, reset some boundaries in my life, you know, really finding out what it is I really don't like, you know. And for a while, you know, it's a trip. You really don't be knowing what you be liking sometimes. You be thinking you liking it, but you, you know. And sometimes, you know, it's hard to admit what you don't like, you know? You know, when you always, you know, I'm a, I'm a people-pleasing person. I'm an empath, you know? And with that, it's hard to say no to people. 
It's hard to say no to situations. But I had to find out that, you know what, guess what? Saying no is liberating. Saying no is freeing, you know? Saying no is, is setting up boundaries, you know? Saying no makes me more happy, you know? I, I'm able to rest and be glad in it, you know, that I said no and it was for my better good, you know? So, yeah, so... So, yeah, I've always had to ask myself, you know, the past two weeks, what am I feeling and what is it that I need? You know what I'm saying? Not is it that I want, but what is it that I need? You know, there is a difference. So, yeah. So, yeah, girls, these are the things that I've been, you know. And then, too... Um, it's coming on to a year, I mean, excuse me, it's coming on to uh, the 10 year anniversary of my mom's passing. My mom passed the day before Kanye West's mom passed. And, uh, you know, it's just, it's, it's this time of the year, it always put me, you know, in a different headspace. And now that it's been 10 years, it'll be 10 years. When I look back at it and I look look at the growth, you know, for me and my children, it's like, man, when my kids were going through that, they were really young, you know. Like today, Anthony's 21. He was 11 at that time, you know. And I was looking at, you know, wow, that boy was 11 years old and, you know, took all that on, you know. My kids is, you know, we don't give kids enough credit, you know what I'm saying? We truly, you know, be on some old, well, these is kids, they don't know. Kids know more than what we, you know. And see, these kids are open to a little bit more than what we was, you know, open to. You know, we had Britannica uh, encyclopedias, and that's, that was the realm of our study. But see, these kids got this worldwide web shit that they can go on there and look up whatever they want to do. And whatever the get down is, it can be figured out. You know what I'm saying? So these kids, you know, they have a little bit more going on to their disposal than we have, you know. And so, man, I've been, you know, cooking more for my kids and having talks with them and, you know, and all that kind of stuff. Coming out of my room a little bit. Uh, oh, and yesterday I had posted on, well, I ain't going to talk about that shit. I ain't doing nothing but calling shit into existence, okay. But as you guys can see that all is well, my kids will just be, you know, doing too much sometimes, shit. Kids. Mom, we didn't think that that was no, yeah, you don't do that one. So, yeah. I think that's going to be about it on this toning part. Because actually it's beginning to pull a little bit because it's beginning to dry up. But um, also, remember when I had, y'all, when I had put the, um, when I had put that mask on my lips and I was like, you know, that clay. Well, it had my lips in a bad way. My lips was dry and you know, it seemed like it was a dry film on my lips. And so I said, okay, well, when I, you know, do my what's the name, I'm going I'm to do this uh, five-minute mask um, on my lips and see what's up with it, see how this works. So it's supposed to be, I've already kind of pre-read it, the instructions and everything already. I am going to show you the product. Hold on, I'm just taking off the, you know, taking off the, um, sticker you know this and it's actually a cream you see that it's a cream and I'm supposed to put this on my lips and I should have did this you know a while ago you know while I was toning because this has to stay on my lips for five minutes so let me see
You know what it feels like, though? It feels... Mm, it feels like... Wait a minute, some of it getting in my mouth, though. Oh, see, I've been um, um, oil pulling so you can see my teeth are whiter. It tastes like um, a peppermint. But it's supposed to sit on, uh oh. It's supposed to sit on your lips for five minutes. But yeah, it tastes like peppermint. We're going to see what's up with it. I'm going to show you guys the box and everything in just a second. Let me, um, I like it. I like the way it feels on my lips. Ooh. It has like a tingly type spearmint, like peppermint type, Yorkie patty type feel to it. You hear me? <laughs> It has like a real cool feel to it. Okay. So it's called Perfect Pout by Dr. Kaplan and Beverly Hills. It's a lip mask and lip balm duo. Okay. Gluten, sulfate, paraben, and petroleum free. Um, what else? I don't know if it's zooming in right. Um, so yeah, and then <clears throat> okay, and this one here is the bomb. So apparently, let me see. Y'all, I can't see this for shit in the world. Hold on. Ultra hydrating treatment. So, wait a minute now. Hold on now. This say bomb now. Okay, so this go on last. Look, I said I read the directions. Now, I read some of it. I kind of skimmed through it just a little bit. Um, I wonder did I put the wrong thing on first. I know y'all saying, Auntie, if you don't get your what's the name so you can see. Okay, the lip mask. A luxurious gel cream mask that instantly transforms the lips. Papaya enzymes gently dissolve away dry, flaky skin while... An exclusive complex of 22 certified organic extracts, marine collagen, peptides, and two types of hyaluronic acid plump the lip contour and infuse the lips with intense cellular hydration. Okay, directions for a perfect pal. Spread a generous amount directly to the clean lips and one and a half inch be uh, wait a half inch beyond the lip line. Expect a mild tingling effect. This is caused by the papaya enzyme. After three to five minutes, remove excess product with a soft cloth damp and immediately follow with the lip with lip twenty balm. Which nourishes the skin and seals dehydration. Bomb twenty. Okay, so now they're talking about what the little bomb should do. Okay, let's see what's up with bomb. Ultra hydrating treatment. The first complex, complete anti-aging lip treatment that hydrates, repairs, and enhances natural fullness, all in one. Apply to lips immediately after using the mask to nourish the lips and seal in hydration. Okay, cool. 
So we did it right. <laughs> we did it right. Okay. And so this is what that was. But man, it do kind of taste good though. I know you ain't supposed to be eating it, but it tastes good though. So I guess now I could take all of this stuff off of my face now. And, uh, I'm so cantankerous, y'all. I'm trying to put it back in this little sleeve, okay? I'm trying to put it back in the sleeve. I like my stuff the way I like my stuff. I like my stuff just so, yeah. I wanted it back in the sleeve like it was. Okay. So, now let's get our handy-dandy little pink puff. That you guys have been asking me so much about. Auntie, where you get that from? Auntie, 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 where you get this from? Y'all, this right here, I got it from TJ Maxx on their clearance rack, okay? And I believe I paid, I don't know, maybe like, I don't know, between $4.99 and $9.99 on clearance, um, and it does work. The batteries are dead in it. And actually it has like, you see like this little, and then on the back it still has like some more type ridges and whatnot. And what this does is it really cleanses the pores. Um, I always use a really mild cleanser, um, because the cleansers... You know, to me, if I go with a mild cleanser, because my skin is rather sensitive, so a mild cleanser for me works very well. Um, matter of fact, let me start cleansing my skin because we still got some other things that we need to do. Um, Y'all, I did get a new nail um, treatment of stuff for my nails. So yesterday, um, I gave myself a manicure and I cut my nails down so you guys can see my hands one thing about when you age you can tell with your hands can't you now my hands aren't in bad condition or anything my hands are kind of okay but that is one thing that doesn't lie is the age of your hands you know so it's always good to have a good hand moisturizer I have a good hand moisturizer on the side of my bed but the point I was making was to show you guys my nails. Um, I did get a new nail treatment in. And um, so what I did was I cut them all down. Um, because my nails will grow a little bit beyond the nail bed. And then they'll begin to split like on the sides. Girls. So, you know, and a lot of that have a lot to do with, um, with uh, vitamin deficiencies and such. But now that I'm beginning, I have begun to eat more balance and all that stuff. And that's the reason why oh, I'm making a mess. That's the reason why my hair is growing so much thicker. Um, my nails are growing so much better. The white part of my nails are really white and, you know, things of that. So, um, so yeah. I'm not going to mess with the lips because the lips already got a little mask action on them already. So, we're not going to mess with the lips. But we do want to ensure that we get that conducting gel off of my face. After um, my uh, rituals like this, oh my God, I sleep so good. You know, I have a girl that comes to my house and um, does my massages here at home. And so, man, I sleep so good during those nights, you know, because I have her come at night and, um, man, and I'll... You know, semi have it set up, and if I don't, um, she'll set my bed up. But I have my own massage bed, well, table. Um, and, uh, but I don't know. I just like pampering, you know, and doing these types of things for me. And especially now, you know, now that my kids and stuff is older and everything, um, I'm tending more to me now than anything. I mean, then more than, than ever. 
Um, and uh, so yeah. going through a transition in my life. My kids are getting older. And it's like, man, you know, it's a trip. You know, as your kids begin to get older, your priorities and everything changes. You know, your obligations, your responsibilities change. That's why I say instill some good things in your children because one day your kids going to end up having to take care of you. And if you didn't, you know, get them together... You know, instill some values and some trust in them and, you know, some unconditional love and stuff. How your kids going to take care of you? What kind of relationship you going to have with your kids when you're older? You know, start refixing them things, y'all. Start fixing your relationships with your parents. Because according to the word, honor thy mother and thy father and thy days will be long. You know what I mean? So... You know, me spending, you know, quality time with my children and, you know, giving them life lessons and directing them on their path and listening to them, you know, respecting their differences, you know, it's a lot, man, it's a lot, but I'm a conqueror, <laughs> you know, I'm a survivor. I am a fighter. I'm third eye sharp. I'm conscious. I'm woke. You feel me? Yeah. Yes. And I still have the capacity to love. I still have it in me to give. I'm still open, you know. Though smart, you feel me? Because everything ain't worth trusting, you know. Everything isn't. That's why you have to have a good relationship with yourself and trust yourself. You know what I'm saying? Trust your, your intuition. That's your soul language. It's very important. You have to listen to you. And when something doesn't feel right, you know, it doesn't feel good to your soul, then don't do that. Say no. You know what I mean? I can't do that. That don't feel right with me. You know what I'm saying? I can't do that. I don't want to or whatever. Whatever your get down is, you need to say it. Though I know it might be unsettling to somebody else. But if it's something that you don't want to do, you need to say that. You know what I'm saying? Say it early. So then there won't be no misunderstanding later on. Keep your intentions pure and organic. Stay honest. Stay true. When you're talking to somebody, engage them. Look at them in their faces. You know, connect with them on a soul level. So then therefore, they know that what you're telling them is 100 shit. I did put a lot, but I needed it though. Because I really like this serum. I really do. I really like it. I like the way it feels. On my skin. And especially the next morning after I do all this. Oh my God, it feels so good. I wanted to show you guys the nail treatment stuff. I also got it off of my favorite place. <laughs> and uh, some of you guys already know I'm not going to be giving shameless plugs but anyway it came three boxes and this is just one of them and this is called Perfect Formula Pink Gel it brightens, strengthens, seals strong nail care Okay, and it was award winning and um, this is the one that's called um uh, this is pink, but then it's another one. Okay, this one is pink. This one is ruby pink. So I have this one in my nail kit over here. I'll show you guys what my nail kit looks like. And then this one here is just regular pink. And then it came with, um, hold on.
Oh, yeah, it could just stay right there. That's cool. I like it like that anyway. It came with that. Uh, two different pinks, and then it came with this one is clear. Um, and I just love it, man. Oh, my God, I just love it. It just feels so good, and I love the way they look, too. It has like a, I, I have the ruby pink on them, and so it's, um, I don't know, man. And it feels like, like, and you only put one coat, too, and when I was putting the one coat, it was like, I can feel it in my nail bed, you know what I'm saying? Absorbing it, you know what I'm saying? Because even though, um, you know, these are nothing more than dead appendages, you know what I'm saying? These are just, you know... They're, they once your nails grow out, then they're, it's pretty much dead. But you know, still, um, they're porous. And uh... so yeah, because I know when this is on, you guys. Reason, let me tell let me say this before I cut this back on the reason why you guys can't hear me with this on is because it's conducting off of my vessel here my bowl sits on top of my grand uh, countertop here and it's copper so it's a huge copper uh, vessel huge copper bowl um and so the vibration of this with that is giving like a bigger hum. Um, so I'm going to do it quick, but I have to do it, though, because this infuses and I need it. Okay.
sorry about that. Thanks, guys. <clears throat> also, let me also thank you guys. Thank you guys for uh, my new subscribers. Thank you guys for su subscribing to my channel. Um, my subscriptions have gone up, and I truly appreciate that. Um, guys, I also appreciate you, um, you guys, some of you guys have been donating to my channel, been liking my videos, some of you guys have been sharing my videos, and I thank you guys so much, because let me tell you something, it is more than a notion to come on here and to share your life to this magnitude for this length of time, and, um, you know, to share what some of us have shared on this platform. Um, I also appreciate the fact that some of you guys have, um, you know, have received me very well as far as, you know, my evolution, you know. The thing is, you're not going to be the same person you always once was. And let me clear up one thing also, too, and say, um, when I first came on the platform... Once you start turning up, it's expected for you to turn up all the time. You know what I mean? And my life was kind of low. You know, I wasn't feeling too good about myself, so I was a different person. I've said some things that I've lived to regret. I've said some things out of pure ignorance. Um, I said some things out of naiveness. I said some things out of my own self, not loving and respecting my own self. You know, you have a tendency to say some things that uh, you'll live to regret. But, you know, um, I have to say, you know, that to unto some of you guys, I am truly sorry if ever I have said some things that rubbed you the wrong way, hurt your feelings or something, something to that magnitude because... You know, I've, I've, you know, I've had my share of ups and downs, a lot of them, you know, and sometimes I wear my emotions on my sleeve. And when you are a life caster, um, such as myself, I believe I'm a, li a life caster. That is what I call it. I, you know, I'm a vlogger, yes, but I life cast, meaning that, you know, I talk about a lot of real life stuff, my real life stuff, what's going on in my life and you know, things of that nature. And um, when you're doing that, you know, um, you're, you're, you know, the people that tend to watch your channel, that's what they expect from you all the time, you know. And there's times when you don't feel like being a turn up queen. You don't feel like cutting up, cussing, and cutting. You know, sometimes you just don't feel those things. And so, um, so I appreciate some of you guys for understanding you know, uh, what path is all about and what purpose is all about and what evolution is all about. And knowing that, you know, in your life, you're not going to always be the same person all the time. You're not going to, you're just not going to, you know, and it's kind of crazy to believe that, you know, you just stay and remain the same. I mean, how can you expect a person to be the same person they was 10 years ago? I'm not the same person I was 10 years ago. Now, on this platform, I've been on here for seven years, but I'm not the same person I was seven years ago. You know, how can you expect a person to do and say and act and, you know, e even eat the same things? You know, I mean, if you guys have grown, we have, cat life casters, we have grown too. The platform has grown, you know, the way in which they do business on here, you know, um, has changed. I know, you know, um... A lot of people would probably complain about the commercials and such and talk about there's more than normal and things of that. Well, you know, the dynamics on the platform have changed up the way in which things are, you know, business is being ran. So I would appreciate if you guys would allow the videos, uh, the commercials to play. Um, that means a lot to us as um, life casters and as vloggers. So if you guys could do that, if you guys could rate, comment, and subscribe, um, I would appreciate that, really. Um, sharing the videos, I would appreciate that as well. I thank you so much. Donating unto the platform. I have a PayPal me on the what's the name. Y'all want to do that? You know, uh, bless your auntie. It's no problem. I can appreciate that too, you know. 
Um, so yeah, I just wanted to say that and I want to thank you guys. Thank you guys for what you guys have done this far and thank you for what, you know, may be placed upon your heart to do. You know, if you don't, then don't. You know, it's no it's no harm, no foul. We're going to still do this. You know what I'm saying? Auntie's still going to be able to come on here and do this right here. But, you know, the dynamics have changed. And, you know, this is what um, they're pushing us to do. And as, you know, some life casters, they're having like, uh, doing like, you know, you pay for their services for them to call you. And, you know, all kinds of other stuff that they, you know, have out for us to have to do. But... I haven't taken it, you know, to that, you know, but, you know, to watch my videos and to rate, comment, subscribe, share, subs you know, um, and what's the other one that they say? Rate, comment, subscribe, and share. There we go. And share. And so I really appreciate that, though, guys. Um, we are moisturized and we are well greased up and glistening. Um... Uh, this is my, um, this is from my nail kit and everything nails. When I go to the nail shop, I don't go to the nail shop like I used to anymore because I do all of my stuff here at the house. Um, you know, I don't wear acrylics or anything like that. And, um, so I do my pedicures and all, everything here now, you know, and so, um, I pull that girl out and, you know, get them all together, get my, you know, nails and everything together. So, I'm going to go in here and check the last little bit of the World Series. The last I checked, the Astros were up. Um, either way, I'm going to count it all joy because those guys came out to play. I mean, it's been a series, you know. And so, um, you know, I'm here for it. Either way, I'm just excited, you know. The Dodgers haven't been here since the 80s in the World Series, less known to have ever have a Game 7. And to my understanding, Houston has never even made it this far or something either. So, you know, these guys have truly been playing. So, you know, as you begin to get, you know, spiritually sound, you get out of a competition mode and realize that that has nothing to do more than ego. It's just all ego. Um, but... Um, you know, as you live and you learn, you get away from ego and you get away on, you get, you gravitate to more real life and more compassion and, you know, more of an understanding on how and way in which this life works, you know. And so that's what I'm, that's what I'm on. <laughs> okay. Pretty much that's what your auntie is on. And for the month of November, we're going to attempt to do this nonstop um, November, but, you know, there's might be some times when your auntie can't come on. Um, respect that as well. Um, I might be going through something personally, or I might just that day have too many things doing going on, multitasking, to whereas I can't come in and say, hey, what's up? You know, don't charge it to my heart. Just charge it to the fact that, you know, guess what? I'm to you on something else on today. Okay? She'll make up for it. Okay? Um, let's see. Um, I've been enjoying the cooking videos, and I will continue to do those. Um, they will be out of sequence, though, because I am co making cooking videos. Um, been making them, and I have them, like, stacked up as well, so then, therefore, they'll be, you know, kicked out, so don't even trip on the date, okay? Just go ahead and watch the video. Even if it say, oh, this is October 31st, you know, we're doing this right here. Okay, we already know what it is, but guess what, though? It's November 13th. Okay, so then just let me have that, you know, that's just, you know, the way I uploaded it or whatever. Um, what else did I need to say? Oh, and as far as our um, facial Fridays and our midweek facials and stuff, some weeks I'll come on, some weeks not, some Fridays I'll miss, some middle of the weeks I will miss. It will just depends. It depends also on how my skin is going. And like right now, y'all, I feel so cleansed. Oh my God. Let me pull up close so you guys can see it up close. You know, and it's like now, y'all, okay, let me also say this, <laughs> okay. I got on the scale the other day, oh my God, y'all, I gained like 10 pounds. I don't know if, you know, it's because of my period or what, 
or for the simple fact that also I have been eating, you know what I'm saying? And also I had a stressful weight loss um, at first. Um, and so when I dip below 175, my cheeks become more hollow. And it's a trip because like now, right now, I'm, I'm you know, knocking on 190, okay? But it's a trip because my waistline hasn't changed at all. I'm still 26 inches. And so my hips and everything is still, but it seems like, you know, the areas where you never got lipo is the areas where, you know, you tend to gain weight. So my my midsection, you know, is cool, but it seems like I'm gaining it more like, you know, in the ass, basically. You know what I'm saying? I'm gaining it more there than anything. And, um... And um, probably in my calves, um, something like that. Um, but um, yeah, but when I dip below 175, my cheekbones become very hollow. And so, and it's a trip because there's some women can weigh 140, 135, and they look really good. But then I guess for my height, I'm 5'5. Five five. Um, my measurements are I am a 34F cup. Um, my waist is 26 inches, and my hips now are like a 42 and something. My hips had gotten down to like a 40, 40 and like three quarters, something like that. But now my, my hips are now like a 42. So, but it's a trip because now my bottom is getting more bigger, but my my waist is still tiny. It's a trip. So, you know, what it, it is, what it is. What can I say? You know, um... So, I'm just going to ride it out. It's whatever. As long as I'm healthy, um, what can I say? And I've been taking my um, supplements. I've been also making um, my smoothies and whatnot. I am going to... I did a video about um, my smoothies and stuff already, one, already but I never posted it. Um, but I probably will update it because um, I had uh, also tried it with... Um, that uh, calcium, I mean, not uh, that calcium, that collagen that I had got in Mexico. And, oh, my God, it was really good. But the collagen um, is uh, a tangerine flavor. So I want to make, like, a, um, you know, one of the, like, use some orange juice and make a smoothie. Like that um, Jamba Juice has one that Baby likes that has orange in it. I can't think of the name of it, but, yeah. So I was thinking of making, putting the collagen in one like that with orange and banana, you know, like that. Um, but, uh, so yeah, I've been eating smoothie, drinking smoothies. Um, today we had uh, the garlic parmesan and ranch lettuce uh, wraps. Um, you guys will see that video a little bit later. Um, I do have so many cooking videos that I need to actually edit and get together and at least put them, you know, in queue to be uploaded. I haven't even done that yet. So, um, so at any rate, it is the holiday season. Check that out. These days are going by so fast, right? Oh my God, they're going by fast, but I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving this time of uh, year. This time of the season is just so beautiful. It's like the, um, uh, the whole aura, the whole look outside, you know, the way that it looks outside, the weather changing and all that. And see, Southern California, we really don't get all four seasons like that. Um, but right now it is so beautiful and it's been so mild. And yesterday I made a tortilla soup. So bomb. Oh my God, y'all. It was bomb. I did a video about that too. But, um, um, so the, since the weather has changed, you know, I'm making more feel good stuff with teenagers and, um, uh, my son now, who's a young adult, um, I tend to make more sub sandwiches and things that they can, you know, grab and walk with. Um, so a lot of the cooking videos that I'll be making will be more along those lines, savory dishes like that, as well as a lot of pastries. We love a lot of cakes and pound this and cookie that. Um, so I'll be doing that. Um, also, if you have um, any suggestions or um, any collaborations or if you want me to try out any of your products, 
um, and do a video for your products, then therefore I'll ask that you send me an email to onesexytina at gmail.com and um, that will be the best way to get in contact with me for business inquiries and such. Um, I welcome anything that is of love and light, um, so I'm here for it. Um, if you guys have um, questions, Auntie, I'm going through this and this and this. Um, so now I'm opening up again for that. Um, you guys have flooded me before, and I was so overwhelmed. So I'm going to still pull from those piles as well, and as well as encourage some new ones to come in. Um, what else? I think that's about it. So, on that note, family, I love you guys. I love you guys a lot for watching it, and I appreciate your support. I say unto you guys, love, laugh, listen, love, light, learn, and something else. I probably mixed it all up. But anyway, I have the hashtag probably on um, some of the videos now, um, so you guys will see that again someplace else. So, anyway, love and light, and I shall see you guys soon. Namaste. Bye-bye for now. Good night.